Hello, and welcome to Net Translator's eClassroom. Today, we will learn our first tip regarding technical writing for localization. When writing documents that may have to be translated in the future, it is best to think ahead and take some things into account that may affect the cost and efficiency of localization later on. One important issue is the distinction between live text and image text. Live text can easily be copied or moved from one place to another and is usually automatically loaded into computer-aided translation, or CAT tools, and translated. Image text, on the other hand, is part of the image and is not automatically loaded into CAT tools. When a piece of technical writing contains images with text in them, the text may be left out and not translated, or may require costly manipulation to extract and then paste back when translated. A better strategy would be to avoid as much as possible any images with embedded text. For example, this manual uses screenshots of icons that have text in them. This is indeed user-friendly, but the problem is that the text won't be translated. Instead, the text should be incorporated as a part of the sentence. This way, the text will be translated and the images can be used as they are. For more information or questions, please don't hesitate to contact us at NetTranslators.